known as the Provincial Juvenile Justice Committee. It was created following a two days induction training in Port Mosby. The training is expected to give committee members an insight into current challenges juveniles face when arrested for a crime. Major Kila Apa from the Salvation Army said correct procedures must be followed through by all law enforcing agencies when a juvenile is accused of a crime. And how can we help them? How can we, you know, help them from day one they, when they come into conflict with the law, right through the process into the court system? In Papua New Guinea, children under the age of 18 are most times prosecuted as adults in a district or national court. Thus, this committee is established to properly prosecute juveniles in a separate court to protect their reputation and welfare. An example would be the alleged Kokoda track rape incident in 2016, which involved a foreign couple. Because the increase of the juveniles in NCD is always increasing, and we want partners to work together. Representing the Australian Federal Police, Brad Morgan, said juvenile policing is a small but important part of the community policing as it amounts to protecting human rights. The children that we're trying to look after and protect are the future of Papua New Guinea. These are perhaps the future leaders of this country. Acting Director of the Juvenile Justice Services in NCD, Patricia Gure, said the two-day induction that the members went through has identified areas where the committee will use to provide essential advice to juveniles. Under the recently passed uh, Juvenile Justice Act, this committee is um, mandated under this legislation to drive juvenile justice initiative at any provincial level. The establishment of the committee is a positive start to advocating and promoting juvenile justice services in NCD. Other provinces have existing committees to also assist juveniles who find themselves in a courtroom. Thakla Gunga, National MTV News.